If you are looking to stay healthy, feel great, look great, you really need to check out IV Hydration. And that's what our next guest can do with Nourishment Medispa. This is Charleston Women Podcast, where you can meet like-minded, strong, independent, professional, and inspiring local women. This is Charleston Women Podcast. And now I would like to welcome to the Charleston Women Podcast our guest today. This is Zakia Moultrie, registered nurse and owner of Nourishment Medi Spa. Zakia, good to see you. You know, I think we hear Medi Spa and every woman listening is like, ooh, tell me more. <laughs> you know, I need, yeah. I don't know exactly all your services yet, but I certainly want some of them. So mm-hmm. I want to start with just, I love having women like yourself on the podcast to hear your journey, because I think that's what's so intriguing to see how you got to where you are today. So we'll just go back in time. You know, what inspired you to become a nurse? How did you kick everything off? So I remember so vividly, I was going right into my ninth year of high school at Wando right here in Mount Pleasant. Um, And my grandmother had breast cancer and my grandfather had colon cancer. and they got diagnosed really close and they died like four months apart right when I was getting ready to start ninth grade. My grandfather died in May and my grandmother died in August. So it was a huge turning point in our family um, during that devastating time. And just seeing um, the role that the nurses kind of played um, in our family's lives were just very, it it made an impact on us, I would say. Mm -hmm. Um, You see physicians, of course, um, but you don't get to spend as much time with them as you see the nurses, um, from them being there just at the bedside, Mm -hmm. um, emotionally, um, as well. Mm -hmm. It made an impact on on me, um, which is kind of what led me into going into nursing. I always said I wanted to find the cure to cancer, but I took a step back once I got into nursing. (laughs) And, that's yeah, an that's ambitious good. goal. And I, I love yeah. your story because I think anyone who's either spent time in the hospital themselves or, you know, with a loved one, it truly is the nurses that are there yeah. for you. I mean, nothing exactly. against the doctors, but you see them very briefly. Yeah. So that's inspired you to become a nurse. But then how did you, you know, you wanted to go, you went from wanting to cure cancer, which is a wonderful aspiration to opening a Medi spa. So like transition me from like point A to point B to where you got today. Mm -hmm. So um, three years ago, when COVID was at its peak, I started travel nursing. Um, And during that time, you know, I I saw everyone was ramped up on vitamins at that point in time, right? Mm -hmm. And um, from there, I met a lot of different nurses and got into kind of more so I wouldn't say holistic medicine, but like alternative therapies, basically. Mm -hmm. Um, And I think one of the the main things a lot of us kind of struggle with is obviously, you know, drinking enough water. Mm -hmm. Are we really being compliant with medications or vitamins and as such? Um, And and with part of my business, we do IV hydration. So with that, um, a lot of patients will come and get um, IVs just like how you would in the hospital, but it's in the Mm -hmm. convenience of our office or their home, their office or wherever they are conveniently. Um, and that bag can be tailored to whatever you have going on medically mm-hmm. um, or just anything that you kind of feel like you need from a health standpoint. We, we tailor everything to um, the client's goals. Um, more recently, though, we've been getting into um, a lot of cancer patients, again, which is kind of near and dear to me. Right. Um, the Cancer Institute actually has been doing a whole lot of research showing that high doses of vitamin C actually help secure cancer. Um, So we've been having a lot of patients that come in for high dose vitamin C infusions. And obviously everything that we do is safe. We are um, regulated by the board of pharmacy. Mm -hmm. We are um, supervised by a physician as well. So every patient that comes through, they have to be seen um, by our physician. Mm -hmm. We follow them up closely, whether it's labs or what, you know, whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. Um, So that's kind of what we do. So again, it's just, an alternative way of taking vitamins and minerals and electrolytes, not just mm-hmm. it being by mouth, but also intravenously right. where we are able to bypass the stomach. So we don't have to really have to worry about um, digestion. And, and mm-hmm. really, you know, when we take things by mouth, we only really absorb about 75 percent, mm-hmm. whereas anything IV is basically about 100 mm-hmm. percent. I, I love those statistics. I was not aware of that. And is that mm-hmm. why you got your business name, Nourishment Medispa? Because... 
during mm-hmm. COVID. That, right? That's what people were seeking. I love that. Exactly. Podcasting has exploded in popularity, especially local podcasts. As of 2022, 62% of Americans have listened to a podcast. 38% have listened in the last month. 26% in the last week. The podcasting audience is booming with no signs of slowing down. Call the podcast hotline to be featured on these podcasts or to receive information about podcast marketing. Call 843-530-0403 or visit carolinapodcasts.com. You're listening to the Charleston Women Podcast. What made you decide to like become an entrepreneur? And it's a, it's a bold risk, not the easiest path to take, you know, from yeah. travel well, nursing to say, you know what, I am going to give this a go on my own. Mm-hmm. So actually before um, going into nurse entrepreneurship, Mm -hmm. I was in retail. So I had a clothing line with a nurse friend at the time. And we did that for about two years. And I kind of found out because I love fashion, all things girly. Um, But I kind of found out that retail really wasn't my passion. I was into working out. I mean, my health, like everything. I had a nutritionist, just everything. And I kind of wanted to do something that I was more passionate about. Um, I love nursing, obviously. Um, so just being able to own a business in that field was just amazing for me, honestly. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I just love it. And ever since I've started it, I mean, I've learned so many other things as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I just love it right now. I'm actually in school at Anderson university getting my master's degree to become a nurse practitioner. Um, so yeah, I'm ready to expand my business with things with that as well. When do you sleep? I, everyone asks me that. <laughs> Honestly, I, I, I can't even tell you. But I also have a one-year-old daughter, so it's I'm, I'm oh always... Oh, my big. goodness. Well, yeah. I, I'm looking at your... And people listening to the podcast can't see you, but I will just tell you that she is glowing. She has a <laughs> really beautiful, gorgeous Thank skin. you. Is that... I mean, that's the IV. I mean, maybe yeah. it's like whatever products you're using on your face. So we have a beauty the results drip. that we see. Mm-hmm. We have a beauty drip um, that's full yeah. of biotin, um, B complex, vitamin C, which is also great for skin yeah. and glutathione, which is a huge antioxidant is also great for skin. So the um, beauty drip is like a, one of our po- most popular drips. Okay. So if we want to look like you, that's your biggest recommendation. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what is, um, what's like your most popular when you talk about the drips and, and before we started this podcast, you'd also mentioned you have, you know, weight loss options. So I'm intrigued mm-hmm. with everything that you have to offer. Yeah. So right now, um, on the IV side of things, the most popular ones I would definitely say would be the Myers cocktail, which is like the hallmark when IV hydration first came out in like the 1970s. I was like the most popular one. Mm-hmm. It's good for just overall mm-hmm. health, to be honest with you. Most people, if you've heard of IV hydration, you've heard of the Myers. Mm-hmm. Uh, I would say the beauty drip. And then a lot of people like to come on the weekends um, for the hangover drip. I've had actually... <laughs> Uh, one girl was in Charleston. She was coming down for school, and I guess mm-hmm. she partied too hard before school started, and mm-hmm. came in and got her dripped, and gave her some Zofran and all those good things, and it really helped to bring her back to life. There, I don't think they had this when I was in college. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> wonderful service that you provide uh-huh. to some folks. Yeah. So those are your, you know, some of your most popular, you know, treatments. Mm-hmm. How does your pricing yeah. work? Is it like a one-off? I pay for one treatment, or can I get a subscription and come? Yeah, to- so you can actually get like um, a monthly package to where okay. you can come in um, and get either. It just depends on your preference, really. So either mm-hmm. we have a package where you can get one drip, and then you can get like a free B twelve shot, and then ten percent off other visits, mm-hmm. or you can get three IVs a month. It just kind of really depends. Right. Like for our cancer patients, we'll do a pack of like 10. Mm-hmm. Um, it just kind of depends because for high dose vitamin C, they get those weekly. Okay. I'm so fascinated by all this as we enter, you know, not just the rise of COVID again, flu season, you know, we're just entering yes. the season where we're going to And during sick. this time, I would say mm-hmm. most popular would obviously be an immunity drip. Most yeah. importantly, where okay. you have your zinc, your vitamin C and your B12 and your B complex vitamins, which mm-hmm. are great for immune health. Mm-hmm. Um, even with traveling, pre and post travel, that's a big thing. Yeah. A lot of patients will come in um, after traveling as well. Okay. Well, I need to come see you. And oh, with what to have you with any of the treatments, is, do you, mm-hmm. is there a recommended frequency? You know, sometimes with skincare, it's just like, it takes three months to see the effect. So, the immunity. Yes. so just like with taking, you know, pills or any other kind of regimen that you're doing, it's going to take more than just one time for sure. I would say a minimum of three is, is definitely a great start. Okay. Um, and like we said, so typically with, um, 
the high dose vitamin C, you know, we, we watch your lab values, your oncologist is watching you. So mm -hmm. that one is typically for sure done weekly. Mm -hmm. And um, the dosing goes up as well. We typically start off with 10 grams of vitamin okay. C and it can go all the way up to 75 to 100 grams. Okay. So that one we watch closely to our patients for that one. Right. Um, and I so with our, I'm sorry. Well, no, go ahead. I was just going to ask where you are. I should have asked you in the very beginning. As far as oh, people that are, you know, we're intrigued. Like, I want to go. I want to book it. Where is your yeah. brick and mortar location? We are located in West Ashley off of Charlie Hall Boulevard. Okay. Our address is 2048 mm -hmm. Charlie Hall Boulevard. It's actually the Epi Center, which is owned by Dr. Gleaton. And um, we actually rent a suite in there. Okay, that's great. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we talked about the IV treatments. I want to go back to the weight loss because you said that's pretty popular. Is that also yeah. a drip? Is that something else? So no, those are actually weekly injections. We offer two okay. different um, medications for that one. They're in a class of medications called GLP ones. Mm -hmm. um, for that, you again have to be medically cleared for that. We closely monitor labs during that as well. Mm -hmm. um, and then we also have something called Lipo Dissolve, which is a, a fairly new product um, mm -hmm. in our practice anyway. That um, particularly targets your stubborn fat areas. If you wanted to target some areas, mm -hmm. that as well at least three set three sessions as well for that. Okay. Is this mm -hmm. different than the very popular shot that a lot of people are taking to lose weight? So that is the GLP one that that's I was the talking GLP about. one. Okay. But the lipo yeah, one that you just mentioned, that's something different. Something different. Yeah. Okay. That different. more so targets like specific areas of fat, like whether it's love handles or, you know, if you have like some thigh fat or the stubborn fat at the bottom of your stomach, yeah. that specifically targets those areas. So mm -hmm. that's fascinating. Double so you chin. can tell people if you just want to lose like, so like you said, specific weight or just a little bit of weight, that would be a better option. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. What mm -hmm. do people say about any of your services, whether it's the drip or the weight loss? You know, what, what do they say when they see the results? I imagine they're pretty excited. Especially with the weight loss, um, you know, a lot of people want to see results instantly, right? right. I mean, who who wouldn't, right? Mm -hmm. So once, and one thing that myself and all my other nurses do, we always encourage them, no matter where mm -hmm. they are. We got to let them know where you started and where you're going. You yeah. have to really appreciate the small wins always. Mm -hmm. um, every And I always tell patients, everyone's body makeup is completely different. Mm -hmm. Patient A may lose 30 pounds in the three months patient B may lose 15. Mm -hmm. I always tell them, trust the process. That's, that's the mm -hmm. main thing. You have to trust the process. Everyone's body is completely different, yeah. but you're going to get the results. Mm -hmm. um, you just can't rush it. Yeah. That's great advice. And great advice for really anything in life. You yeah. Should all listen to that. Not you know, instant gratification. You know, yeah. why are you part? I love talking to you, you know, all the female entrepreneurs that are on this podcast that are featured in this magazine. Why mm -hmm. is it important to you to join this special group of women? I just love seeing women thriving because a lot of the times I feel like we used to see like men that mm -hmm. are entrepreneurs. So seeing women and us sticking together and collaborating is just, I love it. Mm -hmm. um, and we always piggyback off of one another. Mm -hmm. um, I know in particular, um, Michelle and Christian who own the the coastal nanny business, yeah. love them to death. They, they always are including us in things, um, keeping us abreast of different things that are going on in the community. Mm -hmm. um, as with anything, it's always about kind of who you know. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, it's just the networking that I, I really love. Yeah, I, it's like a special group, right? Female yeah, entrepreneurs. Exactly. And, I, and I love life is much easier when you just support and love each other, you know? Exactly. Right? People expect sometimes competition and I love how yeah. it's, it's not that way. Exactly. It's that way in Charleston. And we have things in common. We're yeah. in Charleston, we're females and we're just trying to thrive in the business. Trying to thrive, trying to do our best, right? Trying to yep. raise our children, make dinner, <laughs> run exactly. our businesses, all the things. <laughs> you were talking about how you work with the Coastal Nanny folks, you know, they offer things or tell you about events. Do you yourself do like private events if a bunch of people wanted to get together to come see you or yeah. corporate events? How does mm -hmm. that we do drip parties. Um, I actually had a meeting earlier today for a corporate um, contract that we're trying to do um, for our bariatric patients, mm -hmm. most importantly. Um, it, you know, IV hydration alone, it, it takes a lot of education to the community. Mm -hmm. um, so I do typically, yes, we do drip parties. Mm -hmm. um, I have a physician that I work with who does Botox. So we'll, sometimes we'll do like Botox and bubbles with some mm -hmm. beauty drips as well. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I definitely enjoy those type of events, especially. So mm -hmm. I hear people can work with you in multiple ways. They can go for one time, they can buy, you know, packages, they can yes. do corporate events, mm -hmm. anything. Just go say your website for us so people can go and find more information. 
Yep. So it's www.nourishmentmedispa.com. Same okay. on Instagram at nourishmentmedispa. Okay. And then with that said, I have a, a last question that I like to ask people, which um, sometimes I don't think it's odd, but I, I'm just curious when we see a successful woman like yourself, what is your morning routine? You know, you're a mom, you're a business owner, you're in school. Like, do you have any tips or tricks that like set your day up right for success? Setting my day up right, I would definitely say every morning when I wake up, I always make sure I spend time with God, most importantly. Yeah. Um, I'll read my devotion every morning. I'll pray every day. Mm -hmm. uh, and I am a planner. I have to check things off of a list. So whether it's in my planner or on my phone, I'll make um, like a to-do list every single day, what I need to do. And I'm trying to be more, um, how do I say it? I'm trying to always remember in the back of my head to keep God first, no matter what I'm doing throughout the day. Yeah. Because sometimes I'll find myself either getting frustrated or trying to control the things that are going on mm -hmm. but i have to remember that god is the head and just you know sometimes a little prayer mm -hmm. throughout the day always works so definitely keeping god first most importantly mm -hmm. it's typically what i do every morning i have an app called jesus is calling and they have um daily devotions for every day i love that thank mm -hmm. you so much for your time today is there anything else that i forgot to ask that you would like our viewers or our listeners to know no, you did great. Thank you. Okay. So it's nourishmentmedispa.com is where people can go and they can find you yep. right there uh, in West Ashley, Charlie Hall, right? You said? Yep, exactly. And come to our office, we can come to them, whatever is most convenient for them. All right. Thank you so much, uh, Sakia. Thank you. Absolutely. Go to the website to learn more and remember to like and subscribe to the Charleston Women Podcast. Thanks for spending time with Charleston Women Podcast. Please like us and follow us on whatever platform you're using to access Charleston Women Podcast.